Oh my. Welcome. <gasps> this Welcome. Is... Breathtaking. Yeah, it's a good old house. Look at this staircase. My it's goodness. It's over 80 years old. As soon as I <clears throat> walked in, I felt a, a very, very dominant female presence. Oh. Now I know you're the lady of the house now. Yes. But we have one in the spirit world that it's been with me, I want to say, since I pulled up the driveway. Well, Sonia Henney built this home. Is that the woman that lived here before you? Yes. She was a very, very famous movie star, even before my time. But she also was a gold medal Olympic skater. Yes. OK. Well, there's two women here. One, I will say, built or lived here. And, and I do want to say that she's telling me something about thanking you for keeping the original tapestry. It's on the wall, but you kept it. Thank you for not discarding that. Oh, you know what that is? <laughs> OK, I'm so happy you understand yes, that. It's yeah. Kate. Because she's proud of this home. Has there ever been um, things being missing? Yes, we call this the black hole because she said she likes to look at things and study them, and she might not put them down where you left them. I don't know if this is here, if, if it's up the steps, but there's something where there's a, uh, the, you know those pretty vanity mirrors with a, a comb and a brush? Mm -hmm. Something about the vanity with, with perfumes on it. It could be the my ladies. bathroom. What you're describing is mm -hmm. it's a it's a vanity, but the whole thing is mirrored. Mirror, that's okay. This is my frame of reference. Right. She's just trying to say this is one place where I've let my presence be known, and that other uh, room with the vanity mirror is mm -hmm. the other place that I've always let my presence be known. Okay, we just had another woman join us in the in the in the group, and you know she's polishing and going over things, and I just... Miss Connie? She said, I didn't move your objects, Miss Connie. So she needs you to know, is, is, this woman's in spirit. She's not alive. She just died. She's here, and she cleaned for you, or she housekept for you. She loves you. This is not just a cleaning woman. You gave her so many things that you didn't have to. Generous. She's calling you very generous. I don't mean money-wise. I mean of giving of. And I think she joined us because you said, I find so many things missing. Are you blaming her? <laughs> like, like maybe she put it somewhere. And that's you're why she's... You're getting busted right now is what you're getting. I guess that's her reinforcement to... Yeah, I used to get the blame all the time. But she really, really, could, could we just mm -hmm. move out of the space? It's getting very, very uh, dense. Crowded. Dense and, and crowded. She just told me that she has met the woman that lived here. Wow. On the other side, she met her. God. And you know why she met her? They both shared the same space watching over the, your family. They share the same space. She used to call her by name. Yeah, and yell at her. And yeah. yell at her. That's what she said. <gasps> she said. She did. She yelled at her. Like, will you stop? Yeah. You're scaring these children. So Just... she only knows her Sonia now. So her experience in the, in the physical world was that she had fear. And now that she's on the other side, she can say, She's met this woman, don't be afraid, is that? Don't be afraid because her intentions are pure. Right. Do I feel she's still as stuck as she was? I don't, I'll tell you why. Dora went right to the light. I have no yeah. doubts about it. For sure. In order for Sonia to share that space, they have to be somewhat in the same vibration. Ah. Uh... All right, so this may be a little bit of a hot spot right here. Uh, I have the male presence that just joined us. He's a, he's a very burly man. He's big. All right. My uh, dad. Yeah. Well, the one thing he said to me just now was, and he said this with a very 
heartfelt feeling was, you did do enough, Connie. Oh. You did do enough for me. And he knows you feel some, I don't know, guilt or, or something. But he would not miss this opportunity to say that. <sighs> I will give you a moment. Can we walk out yeah. off camera? Yeah. Please, please, yeah. please. Yeah. It's OK. Yeah. <laughs> This was a, a hotbed of activity for me as a child. That's right. <laughs> Mom, I'll take her in there, since it was my room, if you want to okay. chill out for a sec. So this was my teenage room. Oh, very nice, very this nice. This was my bedroom. I mean, I didn't have the same furniture, but it still feels that, to me like a teenage. That's the vanity. That's the vanity. That's it. This is definitely what I was seeing. This is it. She's trying to say, the vanity mirror is one place where I've let my presence be known. <sighs> these, uh, did these drawers ever open on its own? Absolutely. Constantly. Open, close, open, open close, close. all the time. And then it was like one of these things. I felt like we were doing a, I was, a bit of a dance. That's what I was yeah. just seeing. It's not funny, but speaking of vanities and beautifying, and uh, do, you have, do you have one daughter, at least one daughter? I have three. You have three daughters, mm -hmm. OK. Do you have any idea why she's showing me a very ugly color nail polish for girls? Like, they, well, did you just have this discussion with one of your girls about, that's a, not a nice color. You should take that color off. Yeah. My daughter, Skylar, who's 11. It's almost like blue. She, it's like black. And it's well, crackly black polish. Thank you. Yeah. OK, very So Dora is not approving of that either. <laughs> No, she said, don't let her wear it. Oh, she really? She heard your conversation. Oh. So that's very sweet that she wants you to know, yes, I do go where you live. And she really likes your children as well. Oh. Hello, you two. Hi. Okay. Want to go upstairs? I think it's time to meet Sonia. This is the famous place. So remember, um, the tapestries that we took care of and didn't yeah. paint over, these are they. This oh, is the when she said uh, the wall tapestry. Right. The original painting up here. So you did not change it? That's what she meant. It's a Norwegian lullaby oh, that she oh, had I painted. See. Wow. I... Oh, gosh. So this, this is the section that she's really the strongest. Yeah. This is the place. I would actually say this was her private sanctuary, as I don't even mean when she lived here. I mean as a ghost. So do we. We know that. She said it took years for you to call her by name. I finally did, yeah. She's very happy you acknowledge her. She said, I like to be acknowledged in life, and I like to be acknowledged in the afterlife. When we get to the place on the other side, we don't stop learning and growing. Where she is now, you know, it's not like the figure skater. Now it's more about feeling things of the heart, seeing the family, loving a family, having a family. She works now a lot when you're here with your children. And uh, there's other children that come here just be beside your children. Your friends that come with their children. Yes. Because who, it's... Were, who basically grew up here as well. To stay true to your experience, you did experience what you thought you did. Mm -hmm. It is who you thought it was. So what do you think we go maybe downstairs and digest uh, a lot of what we came up with today? OK. Yeah? Come OK. On. Go ahead, Kim. Oh, thank you. Bye, Sonia.